Why a generator, you asked? Well, because 200 amp hour battery is only going to run the air conditioner about, I don't know, three or four hours. And we added an air conditioner. Also added a Chinese diesel heater. That's what the two round vents are over here on this side. So Purple Van has come back to me with a request to build some air conditioning in it. So we're gonna take advantage of that spot right there next to the refrigerator, build a window unit air conditioner closet right there that will centrally chill this room. Central air conditioning because it's in the center of the van. So the first thing I did was take the front cover off the air conditioner and build a condensation dam across the front. That just gives it an extra half inch or so, a little bit more maybe, to stop that condensation from spilling over the front edge of the tray. That tray will fill up with condensation when it's running properly and the fan will splash that water around keep everything wet inside of there which is great but in a in a window environment that's really great you make sure it's not leaning forward as long as the air conditioner is level or leaning back a little bit leaning out the condensation will always drain outside in a van set it between under the bed there get the camper nice and cool and go for a short drive as soon as you hit the brake all that condensation is going to slosh out the front of the air conditioner now we don't care if it sloshes out the back or a side because that's all going to be over a drip pan that drains out to underneath the van but we don't want it sloshing out the front because that's coming out onto our floor we can't very well have the condensation pan under the front edge of it because well that's that's in our living space and in our, in our cool cold air environment we want to keep all that condensation back there in the hot air environment uh, or at least underneath the air conditioner and spilling into the hot air side not spilling out into the cold air side that ought to do the job right there kind of yucky but it's going to get covered up with that cover and then everything built into a cabinet and it'll look great when it's done and do a wonderful job part of me wants to let that cure and, and harden up before i put the cover on um, that way I don't smash it into the coils. But another part of me wants to go ahead and stick the cover on so I don't end up with that smushing up against something that it can't and causing a problem. You know, get it while it's still wet and gives way. So here's the design. The front of it will poke out this hole with the knobs here, cold air coming out, warm air return going in. Air is being sucked up from the bottom going around the sides on both sides here and getting into the sides and the top of the air conditioner then this wall is blocking off the, the sides the intake sides from the exhaust out the back the back of the air conditioner will set right here with the fins all lined up here blowing hot air into this wall and down there then we'll have a metal divider that attaches here goes down separating the intake and the exhaust so, so they're Side, sort of forced to take air from the sides rather than recirculate the same air back through. And also there will be a heat shield on top of the tailpipe there so that we're getting air from the sides, not heat radiating up from the tailpipe. Of course, this is a parking air conditioner, so the tailpipe won't be that hot when this air conditioner is running. It's all going to get caulked, of course, so it won't leak air around the edges. That way our outside air stays outside and our inside air comes and goes, comes and goes through the front. Slide around here to the back. This too will all get caulked and sealed at the top so that all of our heat exhausts back into this box that is just this deep right here. So then this wall will go on at the end. And we've got what, a six inch deep box here, an eight inch deep box for the heat to escape out. I'll insulate the bed and the side walls and the back wall so that heat is getting sucked directly out without dissipating into the van. Air conditioner project is coming along nicely. We've got inside of the box all weatherproofed, waterproofed with uh, rubberized undercoating. Put the screen over it to keep any animals from crawling up into the venting. And now we'll 
slide the air conditioner into the front, put the middle panel in here that supports the center or the, the back of the air conditioner. Then this back cabinet will be all about heat escaping and this front cabinet all about fresh air coming in. All right, so from underneath, we can see how I've caulked everything up. Oh, that's not quite dry yet. Made sure we don't get any water between the metal and the wood floor. We're not gonna get any critters going up from under the van into the, uh, into the air ducts at all. The shield separates the heat escaping from the air conditioner and the cool air coming in for the outside air, if you will. And it'll also keep any heat, radiant heat from coming off the tailpipe up into there. Of course, this can be a little bit warm under here with the tailpipe, but not any worse than the roof. And of course, when the van's not running, it won't be hot at all. It'll be ideal under here. Plenty of room here for air to get around. You know, the cavities above here are gonna be sealed off, of course, so outside air can go in here and out there without ever uh, contaminating the inside air, the, the, uh, the air inside the van. Everything is dry fit together. I'm gonna leave most of this cord inside later. So just a little bit comes out, enough to plug in up here. Run down so the GFI is easily accessible. And then this fiberglass panel will go over the front to make it pretty. That's pretty much finished from the bottom side now. We are dark up there because that is all outside air. Going to be some insulation inside that box, so any heat that does rise from the tailpipe is still going to be outside. It's not going to leak through under the bed or radiate through, because that'll all be insulated. It's our last chance to look inside before I put the air conditioner in it and do the final assembly. So we've got a FRP front here, plywood, everything's weatherproofed. All right, so we finally got the air conditioner in there. Everything is sealed up with rubberized paint. Insulation added to the hot side here, the, the exit. So the heat goes forced out through the floor, not absorbed into the walls and heating the van back up. So we've got just one, bo one more board to place here, already insulated. Just gotta use the view from the back. And yes, that top is sealed. It's got some black overspray door definitely sealed there. All right, it is running. Let's see how long it takes to cool this van down. As you can see, it is plenty hot out here right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not chilly in here but it's cooled off. Wow, is it cooled off. It's, yeah, it's definitely air conditioned. You're doing a good job. So this is worst case scenario, 100 degrees outside, beaming sun, no shade, but the generator and the air conditioner have been running all day and it's comfortable in here. It's okay in the back, could probably use a little fan up here, pushing some air conditioner back this way. Cause it's, it's right comfortable up here. It's, yeah, it's, it's almost cool. Definitely got a heat load coming in from this fan. And we've got some heat load coming in from that window. Yeah, this I can feel the heat on this wall. More on the wall than on the roof right now. Quiet Honda generator. Plugged in the shore power port. Locking hitch, extra locked. And the way I put this together down here, they're gonna have a tough time taking that generator off there anyhow. So cutting through the handle, 
yeah, it can't stop people if they're going to steal something, but boy, that's sure going to slow them down. Aluminum bar here. Put a new locking hole in it because my lock is a smaller diameter than that big hole. The hitch already had both sizes. One steel piece over here. Because I didn't want that bending. That holds some weight on this side, keeps it from wobbling too much. So the generator's offset so I can get in and out of that back door. This van's only got a small battery and inverter system, not really enough to run air conditioning. It'll cool the van down and run a couple hours, but it'll take a couple days to recharge a battery from that much use on the air conditioner. And of course you want that battery for the refrigerator and other appliances. Thank you.